If you own a Mac, have a little bit of programming experience, and the will to learn, then you can create an iOS or Mac game. In fact, by the end of this lesson, you will have created this game. Hi, my name is Neil North, and I've been developing software, games, and automation tools for about 10 years now. I am a teacher at Aptly Creative Software, a Ray Wenderlich tutorial team member, and have been developing Swift games since the announcement of Swift. But now you've probably seen a lot of different tutorials on Swift and SpriteKit games, so what makes this one different from all of those? Well, I find a lot of those tutorials, in fact pretty much all of them, focus on making a prototype app, which is fine for learning some of those key concepts. However, it's near impossible to take this prototype and turn it into an actual product. So what this course does is it takes you for a 10 step program right from the beginning. So when you have your concept idea for the game, when you test that concept, when you put together an action plan, a design pattern, when you get all the resources that you need, when you start building the app, when you do your marketing plan, every single step I'm going to run you through it with a tried and tested complete application development scheme. So when you compare this to the other courses, they teach number three on my list of steps. We're going to be building an entire product, not a limited functionality prototype. This course is structured in two main parts. In this first area, we go over some of the key concepts of game development using SpriteKit. This will start you off with a nice clear animated video that will run you through the process and progress into looking at real Swift code examples of how to make products. Then after you have an understanding of how this works, we go into actually making our app. So this is going through that full 10 step process and we're starting from a new application template, going right through to a completed project and of course uploading it to the App Store. My key objective of this course is to get every single student to have their first app on the App Store. The template alone will save you hundreds of development hours and I'm also providing you with the source code for the full product that you can use how you like. There are sites just selling source code alone that will cost you hundreds of dollars and they're not even using best practice software development principles. So I think you'll find that this course is fairly good value no matter how you plan on using it. I'm really excited to be bringing you this course so when you're ready, proceed to the next lesson and let's start building this Swift game.